Hey guys, Mike Martinez, and today I want to I want to share with you an experience that I had uh, just a couple of days ago, and it was through uh, actually a, a a phone call that I got from uh, someone that had recently seen uh, a video. She called it uh, my nose picking video, um, and if you haven't seen it, then then you'll know why uh, it's the nose picking video. But uh, and I invite you to go and check that out but uh, the video was talking about um, you know video marketing and stuff like that and this young lady uh, who I, I won't mention her name she's a Facebook friend of mine uh, and and we were friends on Facebook she never actually we never actually spoke uh, up until a couple of days ago and we got to speak and uh, she to me she seems very sincere she seems like she really has I could tell in, in in her voice that she really has a desire to you know to really make this online marketing thing work out and and the video marketing thing but it, it, here's the bottom line she uh, she called me up and said you know what Mike I saw your nose picking video and I got inspired and I said what to pick your nose she said no no, no that's only a joke man uh, she got inspired to go out there and, and, and actually try uh, to do video marketing because she says she wants to do it she sees the power in it and she again I, I, I kind of sense that she has uh, a real strong desire to succeed so she's you know she's going through the learning process of, of marketing yourself and stuff like that but she said to me you know what Mike I, I was I was super motivated when I finished re seeing your video and I you know slapped the camera on and had this great message that I thought I was gonna say and just didn't come out I sat there in front of the camera I, I started a couple of sentences and it seemed like I was you know I had to take a second take and a third take and and by the fourth for the fifth take I, I just the words wouldn't even come out so um, you know I'm guessing this may be a problem for a lot of people not just her right uh, this is something new and maybe maybe you if you you've been trying video marketing maybe you have the same problem you just you know you have this great message that you want to share with the people and for some reason it just don't come out or it comes out the wrong way or it comes out you know you, you're just not happy about it or in like in her case it just don't come out right you get this stage fright and that's what fear does right fear kind of stifles you so that you don't take any action and that's where where you really 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 have to watch uh what's going on uh, with fear how far you're letting fear control you uh, because here's the bottom line everybody's gonna be afraid uh, you do something for the first time uh, and, and there's different levels of that right uh, some people are a little bit afraid and other people are really really afraid um, but uh, you have to kind of just put yourself out there now you know what I, I, I ended up asking her are uh, your parents she said yeah yeah I got two little girls at, uh, I think she said four and seven um, well if you went today to pick them up at school and you found out that they weren't in school this is what I'm telling you uh, somebody had kidnapped them and left a note for you that said you better make a slamming video on YouTube to market your business or you're never gonna see these girls again <laughs> I know it's a little dramatic but eh. Anyway, she got the point because um, when I asked her that, she said, yeah, you know, I would definitely, definitely be able to sit in front of the camera and just pour my heart out, right, and really do something good. Um, but that's how you overcome fear, guys. And, you know, um, it's very, very important that you understand that it's going to be a fearful situation at the very beginning because you don't know what you do and, and and again there's different levels of fear some people are very afraid of the camera some people are afraid of looking stupid listen here's here's the bottom line for me I remember a mentor of mine said one time a gentleman named uh, Jeff Olson uh, he said listen chances are that 
on the day that you die, on your burial day, the day that you're going to be buried, if it's raining, 80 to 90 percent of the people that you know will not show up because it is raining. And they don't want to get their feet wet. They don't want to be standing in the rain in a cemetery with an umbrella. And when he said that to, when, when I got that concept, I mean, think about that. You're worried about people, uh, uh, their opinion, and God forbid you passed away, uh, they would not be in the funeral if it was drizzling. So how important is their opinion? That's, that's just, you know, that's what kind of twisted my brain. And it, it, I just said, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to give it the best shot I got in anything. I don't care. And if I look stupid, then I look stupid. I look stupid a lot. Believe me. Ask my wife. She'll tell you. But, you know, looking stupid, so what? What's the big deal about looking stupid? I don't care. You know what? Sometimes it's fun to look stupid. Really. I mean, sometimes, think about it, guys. <laughs> don't you get your best laughs when you look stupid, right? Or somebody else looks stupid. So what? You make somebody laugh. Big deal. Right? And, like I said in, in the nose picking video, <laughs> you get better and better and better. And as you go, your communication skills will get better. As you go, your marketing skills will get better. Your video editing skills will get better. And, you know, with that point in mind, guys, you know, I, I, uh, I want to give props to, to a gentleman that, that I uh, had the great fortune of meeting. And this gentleman and I do a business together called GVO, which is one of my... It's where I host my sites, okay? Uh, it's my web hosting, and it does my autoresponder. It does some of my video capture pages and stuff like that. It's a little business, you know, for 10 bucks a month, you get all this stuff, the hosting and the stuff like that. If you want to partner with me, that's a shameless, I know, it's a shameless plug, but if you want to partner with me with this, uh, I'll show you kind of the roast. But uh, this is not about that entirely. Um, it's about this gentleman. His name is Gerald Rivera. Okay, and if you don't know who Gerald is, I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna share his information because really, um, you're really gonna enjoy uh, what he has. And and, and I got to tell you, um, he has a website, and 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 he's done some really really good work. He has a website which is Health and Wealth is yours.com and when I first met with uh, with Gerald I think he he had uh, logged into one of my uh, my lead capture pages and occasionally some of my lead capture pages have telephone uh, slots in them you know where they have the field for you to put the telephone and if it does guess what guys I'm gonna call you up so don't ever don't ever 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 go on one of my lead capture uh, sites and put your right telephone number if you don't want me to call you up because I will call you up and we'll talk uh, but anyway this guy uh, went and, and, and put his information and he was honest he put his real telephone number a lot of you like to play games that's all right uh, put his information in there and I picked up the phone I do that all the time I'm not one of these marketers that say don't get on the phone I don't care I, I, I get on the phone because I enjoy talking to new people. I enjoy meeting new friends. Anyway, about a year ago, uh, this happened. And I'll tell you, I am absolutely impressed uh, with Gerald because, listen, he his, his thinking was a little bit, you know, scattered all over the place, which is a common thing, right, uh, on the Internet. People that market online, they have a problem with staying focused because there's so much coming at you. And I said, listen, let's let's do this. Let's market you. Let's start doing this particular thing. We set up his his website, and you know it was a basic website, a basic blog site. He started marketing on it and stuff like that. But, and this is a big but, he went out there and he developed the skills, guys. He went out there and he learned how to put these things together. He went out there and he learned how to do video marketing. He went out there and he learned how to build his list. And these are all fundamental things that everybody needs to learn in order to be an online marketer, guys. If you want to succeed, I'm telling you, if you want to succeed, number one, you need to market yourself. Number two, you need to build a list. Absolutely, must build a list. Uh, video marketing is 
kind of a, you know, may or may not want to do type of thing because it works, absolutely. I love video marketing, but it's not for everybody, you know. If, uh, for instance, that lady, they called me up that we started a conversation with, if she cannot go and, and, and overcome her fear, she's never going to do it the right way because you really need to be sincere. Uh, you really need to create a connection with your people. And sometimes people just have the hardest time doing that. Can she really do it? Yeah, absolutely, she can do it. Will she do it? That still remains to be seen, right? But the, the, the fact of the matter, you get a guy like Gerald, and I'll tell you, he, he just went out and blew it up. Now, is he where he wants to be? Not yet. But I know for a fact he's going to be a superstar. If he stays focused and he continues to go in the route that he's going, he is going to blow things up. If you're in the health and, and wellness uh, niche and you haven't really jived with your company, this is a guy that you want to, and, and I'm, not, I'm not in his company, just so that you guys know. I'm not afraid to mention his name or, or tell you to go in his direction because I believe, you know, prospects are out there by the gazillion and if i you know send a million to him i'm not losing anything guys that's just the way i, I think but uh the point is he picked up the skills he faced the fears he learned how to organize his thinking he went out there and he took massive 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 action consistently and he's produced some incredible results guys so again Look at, look at what I'm telling you to kind of, you know, make the distinction between these two people, right? And, and, and I'm, that's not to say that the young lady from San Francisco, the young lady from, that, that, that we spoke about originally, that she's not going to do it. I, I honestly believe that she will. I think she has a tremendous amount of, of desire. I, 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 I kind of heard it and, you know, I like at, towards the end of the conversation, her voice cracked with, some emotion I could tell and I'm hoping that that emotion is the catalyst right to get her to take action that's all it takes guys it's all it takes for you to go out there and say you know what I'm gonna get this done period you have no idea there ain't nobody stopping me that's it I will not be denied I am gonna get it done once you get that spirit inside you guys once you get that, once you know that, that there's nobody that can stop you but yourself, I'm telling you, things are going to start turning around. Gerald's an example. All right? So hit Gerald up. Hit yourself up, guys. All right? It's your time to shine. Mike Martinez, I'll speak to you later.